Hey collective, welcome to my channel. If you are returning, welcome back. <laughs> collective, I am going to tap into the energies of Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. We're going to see what messages Spirit has for the Divine Counterparts. Okay, so collective, please keep in mind that this reading is general, the energies are fluid, and the message is timeless, okay? All right, let's go. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for allowing me to channel messages from the divine through the Tula Tarot for the highest good of the collective. Heavenly Father, I pray that you'll send clear and precise messages through my archangels, my spirit guides, and my ancestors of love and light. And Heavenly Father, I pray that you'll protect my energies and the energies of the collective as we open ourselves up to receive these messages. In the mighty name of Jesus, I love you, I praise you, and I thank you. Amen, amen. Shalom, shalom. All right, collective. I'm going to get a leading energy for you. I'm going to get a leading energy for Divine Masculine. And then I am going to go ahead and just dive off into the the um, the tarot. I think I'm going to do the tarot. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is the leading energy of Divine Feminine towards Divine Masculine? What are the leading energies of Divine Feminine towards Divine? divine masculine that's too many oh shit you 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 feel a ways <laughs> divine feminine you feel a ways about your masculine mm -hmm. let's see let's go i'm gonna take this one we have man holding a heart okay so divine feminine you know that your masculine have love for you or you have love somewhere else Holy Spirit, what is the leading energies of divine masculine towards divine feminine? We have two pop out. We have the world in action. So somebody is taking action to close the cycle out or somebody is taking action to just go ahead and go on about their business. That's what I'm getting. This is for some of you guys, okay? Yeah. Divine masculine feel as though it's, 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 it's the end. This cycle is closed. This cycle has wrapped up. It's time to move on. Thank you for the confirmation. They're taking action to do it. All right. Some of you guys, um, <coughs> Divine Feminine, you still have love for your masculine. This is what I'm getting. Yeah, bottom of the deck, we have community. So it could be because of friends, family. <sighs> it's making me feel like friends, family, somebody got in the way. Something like that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, then let's see. Um, Holy Spirit. What can you tell me about the leading energies of Divine Feminine towards Divine Masculine? So you know that your masculine love you, but for some reason it's making me feel like your masculine is giving up on the connection. Let's see. Holy Spirit, what can you tell me about Divine Feminine? What can you tell me? What is the energy? I'll take it. We have unexpected income. Mm, so somebody getting some money unexpectedly or something or shit. A man holding a heart is coming in unexpectedly. Okay. Divine feminine, you got new love coming in. This is how come your mask is. <laughs> know that it's over. It's a wrap time to move on. That's what it feels like. It feels like you got a new one. Judication at the bottom of the deck. Okay, let's see. What else can you tell me about this unexpected income? Holy Spirit. Yeah. Uh -oh. <gasps> Wealthy man, I told you. I told you there's another masculine in your energies. That's how come uh, your, your, your masculine, your divine masculine, like it's over with. Damn. For some of you guys, you know that <laughs> there's, a, there's somebody out there that that you got their heart or they got your heart and something like that. But this is a divine feminine that is in another, I should say a new energy of a new masculine here. It's two masculines here. Holy Spirit, what else can you tell me? Ooh, I'll take it. We have false person. So somebody in your energies, divine feminine, is showing up as a false person. Or you feel as though somebody is false. They could be this wealthy man. You could... You might think that this wealthy man is a liar. They false about their money or something like that. 
this is what I'm getting. We have expectation at the bottom of the deck. So, yeah. Somebody is... Are you not believing this masculine, how they feel and what money they have? Something like that? Yeah, somebody is not talking. Somebody is lying. Okay? Somebody... You could be... It could be your masculine. You could feel as though your masculine is lying about the money that they have or how they feel about you or something like that. What can you tell me about this false person? Official person in the reverse. Oh. Yeah. Privileged lady here. Okay. So let's see. Why is the false person or why is the official person in the reverse? Somebody is somebody they 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 were not your official person. They they lied. They wore a mask. They didn't they weren't their real self. This is how come another masculine is here. Pathway, journey. You left. You left your divine masculine. Because you felt as though your divine masculine was lying about their money, about their wealth, about their job, about some money coming in. You know this masculine love you, but they lie about their money, their status, the job that they have, the job that they're holding. Something like that. What is this pathway? You're going towards something? Something changed? Family room. This family dynamic has changed? Because you went in another direction? Because you found out that your masculine was lying about money yeah somebody that you held in high honor high honor occupation somebody was lying about how good of a job they have their job status their job title something like that mm. what can you tell me about this light in holy spirit holy spirit honey angels what can you tell me about this false person what can you tell me about this false person that is showing up as the unofficial person for Divine Feminine. Thank you. Thank you. We have loneliness and gift in the reverse. Some of you guys, you could have abandoned your person. But something wasn't a gift. This false person, no, they didn't have no gifts. They didn't, they didn't give you the gift of love is what I'm getting. Okay? They left you lonely. Some of them could have left you ghosted. Yeah. And this is how come you know that this person was, they were false, but you good. You good. You calm. You calm. Somebody tried to bully you. Somebody tried to duke you is what I'm hearing. Why is this gift in the reverse? It wasn't, it wasn't something that you wanted. It was... It's like you took your, we have collaboration and goal. So for some of you guys, it was a goal for this person to come together with you. But the, the only way they feel as though they could get with you is if they lied about the money or their status or something like that. Yeah, some to cap uh, to collaborate with you. It was somebody's goal. It was somebody's mission. Okay, they vowed to have this collaboration with you, but now they overwhelmed and scared and, and want want an apology because they want to compromise with you. And they want everything to be okay. They daydreaming of this because things have died, has ended, and they want to start again with old origin. And they're they're coming up with a strategy on how to get back in. This is what I'm getting. Yeah. I heard you'd rather be alone than be with a liar. Okay. You can have love for this person, but you know that you can't be with this person. Some of you guys thought it was a good idea to go on this journey, this adventure with this false person. That's for some. For others, you feel as though it's a good idea for you to just go your separate way. Because you do want to collaborate with somebody that y'all could meet the same goals, have the same dreams, have the same ambitions, have the same uh, um, 
destiny or take the same or walk the same path in life. Yeah, you want somebody to match you. Yeah, somebody's birthday could be August 13th, August 27th, August 21st. Somebody could be 31 years old, 41 years old, 45 years old, 26 years old. Yeah. But you want to you want to start again. You want to begin again. Introvert. Yeah, you're not talking to your you're not talking to your divine masculine because you're starting something new. And baby, that's justice. Libra energy. Because your masculine showed up as a false person and they pissed. Or this could be you pissed. That you, you hooked up or that you collaborated with somebody who was a liar. Hey, you got to live and learn. Some of you guys could have married this person. Because you're pissed. Life lesson learned is what I heard. Okay. But you, you had to get out of there. It was something. It was something. And honestly, I will say this. This was all unexpected. This is it was like a change of direction all of a sudden. It could be because of the community, people, family, friends could have had a hand in this. But it's justice for you to go ahead and go about your way. Because whatever this false person was offering you, it wasn't it wasn't worth it. It wasn't a gift. It, yeah, you couldn't give your gifts or your, they couldn't give you the gift. The money. Somebody could have Somebody could have promised you or could have told you that they were going to give you something valuable or gift you something valuable. It could have been money, property, a home, a family, something that's worthwhile, that's worth it. They lie. So you had to leave and get the hell on. You have another masculine in your energy. Damn. All right. Well, um... Holy Spirit, how does Divine Feminine feel about this new masculine that's in their energy? We have the Three of Coins and the King, Queen of Wands. So you're feeling very confident that you could work with this person? Work with them? Yeah. Six of Cups. Yeah. This could be somebody from your past past life past in this life how does divine feminine feel about this new masculine that's in her energies or their energies i should say let's go how does the feminine feel oh goodness we have the queen of swords and the queen of cups so this is you're very adamant and very serious about this this man holding a heart here you could really love this person, have a lot of love for them, but you had to cut them off or you're not playing. Being very direct and adamant when it comes to conversating your feelings or talking or telling them about their feelings or your feelings, I should say. We have the Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior Energy. You, you've been through a lot. You have your guards up. You have your boundaries up. You could have this person blocked. Or you could be blocking your feelings for this person because you're using head over heart. But we have the sun energy, Leo energy here. But this person makes you happy or they bring you happiness. But you're very guarded. Very, very guarded with this new love. Could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Could be an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Okay. But there is some good news that's coming in. It's exciting news. Something that will lift your will lift your spirits and lift your energies yes because you're going to find out that this person have feelings for you too we do have the king and queen of cups out here but there is another feminine energy here it's really making me feel like this could be you embodying both of these queens this is what i'm getting yeah okay so what can you tell me about this queen of swords why is the feminine and the queen of swords energy because we have the Page of Cups and the Seven of Wands, you're very guarded. You're very guarded as, against somebody who is love bombing, who is telling you how they feel, um, but you're you're not as easily swayed to believe this. Somebody could be emotionally immature. This is how you feel. So this is how come you're communicating. 
your feelings and emotions directly. We do have the Queen of Cups and the Page of Cups. So that's a mismatch. But we also have the King of Cups here. So you could be blocked out, blocking off this uh, divine counterpart over here for this new masculine. Because this divine counterpart that you're closing the cycle out with is emotionally immature. And you're guarded, very, very highly guarded. Protective of your heart. Protective of your emotions and your feelings. For some of you guys, you're very protective about this new masculine energy that is in your energy. You're blocking them. You're, you're, yeah, you're, you're, you're guarding the connection, the new connection, because you don't want, you don't want nothing to go awry. This person makes you very happy. Y'all could be just dating, okay? Just getting to know each other. Yeah. What can you tell me about this Knave of Cups? But it's almost like you guys are at the beginning stages of expressing your feelings towards one another. And that was unexpected because you're being so guarded. You've been, you're so guarded because you don't want this person to become a false person or you don't want to believe a lie or something like that. Okay. Holy Spirit, what is the intentions of this um, new masculine and the feminine's energies. What is the intentions of this new masculine? We have the Ten of Wands. Okay, so something is heavy. Something is a burden. With temperance at the bottom of the deck. So somebody wants to ease your burdens here. Sagittarius energy. Yeah. Somebody want to balance out your your... Somebody want to balance out your energies because it's they want to take the load off. Yeah. This person want to take the load off. They don't want to burden you. They want to bring you peace and huh, ebb and flow. They want to have back and forth. Um, how should I say? They want, to, they want to exchange energies with you. Okay. We have the king of wands in the reverse and the hierophant in the reverse. There's a lot of fear here. Somebody is not taking action because they fear that this person, this new person in your energies, divine feminine, they're non-committal, non-traditional. This is not a traditional type of um, connection that you're used to, or this is something, this is new. This type of connection is new, okay? Four swords at the bottom. So this is bringing some type of healing here because this is... It's, it's not something that you're used to. And you're not taking action towards this, this new energy because you're not confident that your wishes could come true. Nine of Cups, Four of Swords. Very apprehensive. What can you tell me about the King of Wands in the reverse? It's almost like a pessimistic energy. It's, it's because you don't have faith. You don't have faith in the new connection and this... In this masculine here because of what happened with this past masculine yeah nine of swords you all up in your head you think it's you know what it feels like collective it feels like um divine feminine you're you're scared to repeat the past because you just released the past and here come your future but it's still some healing have to be done here with the nine of swords and the hierophant in the reverse oh yes a lot of healing here it still needs to be done but this is how come this new person came in unexpectedly because you wasn't expecting to, you know, meet somebody new, hook up with somebody new, um, even just exploring new emotions with this new person because you still um, operating through the energies of the past person who showed up false, fake and phony. Yeah, the king, the king of pentacles and the ace of pentacles. It's a lot of masculine energy around you. This could be multiple masculines. This unexpected um, wealthy man is the king of cubs. And they're coming in with a brand new offer, a brand new opportunity here. Yeah, strength energy coming in strong, Leo energy. Yeah, taking a leap of faith, full energy. Somebody learned some lessons here and they want to take a leap of faith with you, but you're hesitant. Okay, you're a little apprehensive, but you did show up as the Queen of Cups with the Queen of Swords. That's why I say you're not playing when it comes to your emotions. Um, you will communicate that very well with this new masculine energy here, okay? 
but it's it's very non-traditional it's like y'all didn't meet the like like you usually how you usually meet new people you know whether it be you usually meet you know your partners through friends or at a party or at clubs or something the way that you met this new masculine in your energy is is totally different than what you ever experienced before okay somebody here also too is not as confident in their their um belief system is what i'm getting you don't know if this person can be committed to you you don't know if this person is com is not committal. This is why you all up in your head, but they came to bring you peace. Help you bring put down those burdens. This is what you want. Why is the nine of swords here? Let's see. Why is the nine of swords here? Thank you. Will of fortune. Because things move forward. Things are moving fast. <laughs> Yeah, it's almost unbelievable here. The Knight of Wands, yes. Things are moving fast. Somebody could have came in hot, very passionate, like a very go-getter type energy. Okay, somebody could, it could have started off um, fast intimately, and that's something that you never did. Like, you know, you meet them one week and you're sleeping with them and then the next and you never did that before. So this is why you're apprehensive about moving things forward with this one because things happen so fast. Three of coins is here. So somebody want somebody want to work with you or you want to work with this person, but you're being apprehensive because things just move too fast. And this is why you don't know if this person is here to stay or play. This is why you have questions and this is why you're protective of your heart, over your heart and over your um, feelings and emotions here. All right. So Holy Spirit, how does Divine Feminine feel about her past Divine Masculine? The one that we originally pulled on. The one that knows that this cycle is over because there is another masculine energy here. How does Divine Feminine feel about the... Um, the old divine mask. So some of you guys, you could have been with this divine masculine for a long time. This divine masculine could be older. We have the nine of cups and the six of cups. So there is, there is still love here. Um, it's almost making me feel like drowning in emotions here. You can have children with this masculine, but you guys are not talking. Eight of wands. You guys are not talking. Holding back. Come communication what can you tell me about this nine of cups somebody could drink too much somebody could have a drinking problem we have the two of cups and the net the um page of wands so there is some type of communication coming in you do want to talk to this masculine so it's almost making me feel like the star energy with the queen of coins here so it's almost um it's almost making me feel like you know things wasn't really moving forward with the past masculine but you still have love for this masculine. I mean it's a very emotional here. But this masculine could have closed this cycle out with you and moved forward. This is for some. This is what I'm getting too. Yeah. For some of you guys this masculine closed this cycle out with you and took ac action elsewhere. <laughs> towards somebody else or something else and left you hanging left you hanging in love you still love this person they still you still view them as wish fulfillment this is a soulmate here you still want to talk to this person but this was all unexpected because as soon as this masculine closed the cycle out with you divine feminine boo yeah here come this man holding the heart there come this wealthy man excuse me here come this wealthy man. Somebody is showing up as a false person, though. They're not official. So, collective, um, divine feminine, be careful about the, your new love. Or this new person that is in your energies. Because some of them, they could, they could come in like they 
the man, like they the owner, the CEO, they, they got a good job, they got savings, they got, you know, uh, they got wealth. But, uh, and that could be money, that could be love, that could be anything. Um, but they're a liar. They're a liar. This is why you're all up in your head. Yeah, they're non-committal and they're a liar. Some of them, they use their money and their status to get um, what they want from people that they want. Something like that. Yeah, so be careful. But um, Divine Feminine, you still have feelings for your masculine, but things have died. Death energy, Scorpio energy. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Yeah. But as soon as things die, oh yeah, you have success and new love. So, you know, it's it's making me feel like Divine Feminine, you really just do not trust this new one. This new masculine because of how the old one acted, exited. The, the, the connection, you feel as though that this person is not your, is not showing up as a an official person because of the past person you felt was false, but you have success in love. The Ace of Cups and the Six of Wands after things have died with this original masculine, this old masculine, King of Cups, Ace of Cups. You got love here. But you're not trusting it. It could be because of ego or this could be you just now recognizing that you do have somebody on the outside of the connection with this original masculine that actually love you. You could have thought that they was a, a, a false person. Um, they were lying about their status and, and everything about like that. But with the sun energy, things came to light. The truth came to light and temperance here. So you could have thought that they was not who they said they were and come to find out they are. Because things were, it, the way you guys connected, it wasn't something that you normally do or the way that you normally, you know, start off relationships or situationships or something like that. Okay. And I'm really getting like, you know, y'all got intimate very, very quick. And it's like, whoa. Some of you guys could fall in love very, very quick. Some of you guys, this new masculine could have told you that they love you very very quick and you think that this person is lying and they're not your official person but they are we had an ace of cups here they said bring that on out with the king of cups could be dealing with a water sign again heavy water here cast of pisces scorpio so you know you you have new love after this old love uh cycle closed out that's for some i mean take the message as it resonates it could go either way you know, I'm getting a lot of storylines here, but um, the, 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 the underlying energy is fear. Fear of repeating the past, fear of replaying the past, okay? So how, yeah, Eight of Cups, yeah. King of Cups, Eight of Cups. You feel, you have a fear that this person will leave like the last did? This is why you're scared to fall in love. This is for some of you guys. This is why you're nine of swords all up in your head about this new person. Yeah, because you think that they, they're going to eight of cups you again. So there's still some healing that you have to do here, Divine Feminine, before you could try to go into something else with somebody else. You're not ready for this commitment, this higher level of commitment here. This is how come you're not taking action. Or this could be somebody about you not taking action towards you because they feel as though you're not ready for the type of commitment that they want. And you know this, and this is why you're stuck in your head. Things just happen too fast. I mean, the love, the sex, the, the meeting the new person. I mean, it's just like as soon as you got rid of one, boo, yeah, here come another. Hmm. All right. Well, you know. That's the way love goes <laughs> for some of us, okay? All right, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is the, um, what can you tell me about the masculine towards the feminine with this world, this cycle closing out because of some type of action that the masculine has taken? Or does masculine close the cycle out with the feminine because there's some type of action they want to take somewhere else? Let's see, Holy Spirit, 
What can you tell me? Let's go. We have privileged lady. Okay, so what can you tell me about this privileged lady? We have marriage. And then we have main female expectation. So somebody uh, in this masculine's energy is expecting marriage. Okay, this privileged lady. Some of you guys, your masculine is viewing you as a privileged lady that they do want to marry. What can you tell me about this privileged lady? We have divine feminine, mature woman in the reverse. So somebody is immature. Okay, so we have two different feminines here. And masculine energy, okay? One is a privileged lady. The other one um, is a mature woman in the reverse. So somebody could be acting immature, never grew up, something like that. This could be this privileged lady here. Yeah, so somebody, for some of you guys, your masculine feel as though that you're you're immature. You're, you're almost like spoiled. I heard spoiled brat. And this is why they took off. This is why they closed the cycle, journey, and house. This is why they moved out, okay? This is for some of you guys. For others, this is two different feminine energies in your in, in your masculine's energy. Some of them is taking action towards a privileged lady because they feel as though the mature woman is not so mature. This could be a masculine leaving somebody else to come towards you or they're leaving you to go towards somebody else. Yeah. Thank you for the confirmation. What can you tell me about this mature woman in the reverse? Despair. Yeah. And thief. So this mature woman, you know, it's like they, they could have left this masculine in despair. This is how the masculine feels about you, Divine Feminine. They are in despair. Because they feel as though somebody came and took you from them. And now they're in bad health. Because they put a lot of work, effort into this connection. This is for some of them. For others, this is how you're feeling. Mature woman in the reverse. Feeling the, the, the despair of your masculine closing this cycle out. And moving over to, moving on to a privileged lady. This is for some of you guys. Okay. Some of these masculines, they let their mother or a maternal figure talk them into closing the cycle out with you to move on to, to something else. And now they're sitting in despair. Yeah, your masculine is, is not on good terms with this mature woman in the reverse. For some of you guys, your masculine know that this cycle is closed with you because they put you in this reverse energy. Yeah, they, they left you in despair or they knew what, what action that they took for you for them to close this cycle out or for you to close this cycle out. That's, that left them in despair. This is your mask. They know they did this to you when they closed this cycle out. Wow. What can you tell me? Judication. Poverty. Okay, so this could be a divorce. And main female, poverty and main female. So it's almost making me feel like collective, your person, your masculine could have took some type of action towards a privileged lady that caused you, you to close this cycle out with your masculine. And then left you in despair and your masculine in despair. Both of you guys, adjudication and despair, both of you guys feel this energy, the loss and the lack of the connection. Okay, sitting in poverty. Because it... It was something that the masculine had done to cause this to come to an end. It could be about a child or somebody was childish. Somebody very immature. I heard petty. Somebody is very petty. What can you tell me about this um, privileged lady? Thank you. We have thief. So this privileged lady is a thief, courthouse, somebody be going to court in the distant horizon. So somebody could have stole this masculine from you, divine feminine, this privileged lady. This is how come you're in the reverse. Yeah, I heard you get your petty. Look, distant horizons and poverty, this main male. Especially if they closed the cycle out with you and went over to this privileged lady. They're going to be in poverty in the distant horizons. 
okay for some of you guys this is a message of concern for this uh main male here they thinking about this um mature man so they so it's almost making me feel like somebody is growing up with this mature man in thoughts somebody felt as though they should have been an adult about a situation something like that somebody feel as though this privileged lady is childish somebody is a thief this privileged lady is a thief they're going to court and now they're in despair because there wasn't a mature woman this is this make this is feeling like after they closed the cycle out with you, Divine Feminine, they went over here to this privileged lady who was immature, acting childish, because this right here got privileged or became a privileged lady because they are a thief, a scammer, uh, something like that, and they're going to court. This is it, it, not only the community, okay, because the family and friends or the whole community is going to watch, or this is judge and jury, something like that. I'm getting the after story. This feels like an after story of a divine feminine and a divine masculine separating, closing out a cycle. This is the after story. Wow. Okay. What can you tell me about this courthouse? What can you tell me about this thief? Whoop. Oh. High honor in the reverse. That's this privileged lady. Uh-huh, that's this privileged lady that the Divine Masculine went towards after they closed the cycle out with you, Divine Feminine. And I know, girl, they know, went all over here. I'm going to have to get those cards later. But, um, yeah. Yeah, that's what happened. That's what happened. That's how come the Masculine is over here in despair because they was expecting. They was expecting to be in this high honor position or have this uh privileged lady in this high honor position but no somebody fell for grace whatever they was expecting they didn't expect for it to end in the distant horizons this is how come your masculine is concerned about this because somebody is not honorable they could have had this privileged lady in high honor and come to find out boo yeah they a thief and a liar somebody could be going to court or jail because of this it's feeling like scammer energy yep live and learn you, you got to live and learn. And this masculine is furious. They're furious because they disconnected a marriage. Okay? To go over here running to this privileged lady that they thought that they could chill and relax with. Relax with. But they found some type of evidence about a natural disaster to a sweet dream. They thought they was going to have it good over here with this privileged lady after they closed the cycle out with you, Divine Feminine, but no. They went over here, look, they closed the cycle out with you, or you closed the cycle out with them, but afterwards, they went over here with this privileged lady, come to find out they childish and immature, could have a kid with this one right here, and at the same time, booyah, you have new love coming over, coming in your energies over here. It's like, you know... This masculine could have lost out. Yeah, message of concern about some great fortune that died. So. Collector. Because it's about some money here. Yeah. Your person showing up as a false person because they unofficial. Had some unexpected money come in. And all of a sudden they was the wealthy man. They went running over here, closing the cycle out with you, running over here to this other feminine energy to make them the privileged lady. After they got their come up, after they got their money, come to find out this one right here is motherfucking immature. They want to show up as the divine feminine in the, in the upright, but no, they're in the reverse. They're childish and immature. They could have a kid with this person. Somebody going to court behind this kid too. Yeah, thief, yeah, because look, this privileged lady want that money that your person had all of a sudden came into and, and ran their ass over there trying to make this other third party the privileged lady. This is how come they lost everything. This is how come they fell from grace. This is how come they sitting over here in despair because this privileged lady could have stole their money, stole their time, stole, so, so, stole something valuable, something like that. 
This is what I'm getting. Yeah, because this person was not honorable. They are not held in high honor. Oh. What a well, shit. What can you tell me about this mature woman in the reverse? Thank you. <laughs> Look at this. I love it when they do that because that'd be the truth. We have sudden wealth at the bottom of the deck. And then we have main male. See? Your person thought that they was going to be the main male in this mature woman's life. Could be an age difference here. Okay? And they just all of a sudden had sudden wealth here. Or this, or this um, how should I say, this privileged lady thought if they make your person the main male in their life, they'll have sudden wealth. Okay? We have one, one, one here. So somebody think as though somebody, yeah, somebody wanted to be the number one in this other, other feminist energies or in this other feminist life. Either they wanted your person to be the number one, had a number one spot, or your person wanted to have that number one spot in this, this, uh, privileged lady energy here. Okay. So let's see. Holy Spirit, how does... And look, we have the Hierophant in the upright Taurus energy. And then we have the Tower. You see, they committed to somebody that it, it was built on faulty foundation. It was like it, it died as soon as it, it started. Okay, especially if they, they got married. It's like, no. The Most High said, hell no. You could have been... Um, Engaged to ma to be married to your divine masculine, and the Most High said, "Hell no," because they knew that they were taking action towards somebody else, towards this other feminine energy. Holy Spirit, how does divine masculine feel about this other feminine energy outside of divine feminine? How does divine masculine feel about this other feminine energy? Thank you. The world in the reverse, something is not closed, something is not over. They don't want to end things with this, this other feminine energy. The cycle is not closed. Lovers, they, they want it. They're going straight towards it. They're going straight towards this, this other feminine energy that they put as a privileged lady. Ran right into a fucking brick wall tower. As soon as they ran their ass over there, Booyah Tower. And that's justice. Libra energy. They didn't want to close this cycle out with this, this lover here. And they went over there. They went running over there. With, look at this. They closed the cycle out with you. And look, action. Eight of Wands. They high-tailed it. I mean, gone. And as soon as they got over there, oh yeah, tower. What is this tower? Holy Spirit. And that's justice. Yep, that's justice to this Queen of Pentacles. Because of the burdens and the heartbreak that they left you with. All up in your head, Nine of Swords. And them going over there, experiencing the tower. That was your justice here. Yep, justice in the devil. Okay? Because they were in this devil energy here it's almost like somebody could have been um persu persuaded or su seduced that's what i'm getting okay i heard money hungry greed because they thought they was going to have a sudden come up they luck was going to change they luck was going to turn uh-uh what can you tell me about this tower holy spirit what's the tower gemini energy we have heavy Taurus, heavy Scorpio, Leo is out here, Aquarius is out here. What is this tower? Thank you. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. They lost everything. Everything. This was not an offer from the divine. Three of Swords. They got their heart broken, their money took. So. You mean to tell me that Divine Masculine got a, a financial come up while they were dealing with you, Divine Feminine? As soon as they got their money up, got that new job, got that bonus, whatever the fuck they got, 
they go hightail it over here to this other motherfucker to make them the privileged lady, not you, divine feminine. No, this karmic third party. We seen the devil. That's the karmic feminine. That's how come the mature woman is in the reverse. In this deck, this is the empress energy in the reverse. They went over here and tried to put somebody in your spot. That's how come as soon as they closed it out with you, or as soon as you closed it out with them, boo yeah, new love came in. And this is a wealthy man. This is somebody who got their money, their coins, they value their integrity up. <laughs> and this one over here are heartbroken and broke. That's the tower. They lost a lot. Wow. What can you tell me? Why 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 is this three of swords here? They got their heart broke because of the empress. There you go, divine feminine. <laughs> now they spying and looking in on you, wanting to talk to you and shit. Page of swords. This is why. This is why your masculine is over here with this third party karmic, broke, busted, and disgusted. Heartbroken because of you. You are the divine feminine. Now they see who the fuck you are to them. And it's too late. Why? Because they closed the cycle out with you. Or they took some type of action to have you close the cycle out with them. I heard now they want it. For some of you guys, this third party is um, spying and looking in on you too. Hmm. I heard wondering how you do that there. Well, what can you tell me about this uh, empress? Why is the divine masculine heartbroken over this empress then? I mean, shit, you had the motherfucker and then, and then you closed the cycle out with the divine feminine. I didn't mean to call you a motherfucker, but damn. That's how they, that's how they treated you. That's the energy that's here. You cost the towel. Ah. Hmm. This is a never. This tower. That cycle is not over. This is a perpetual tower moment after 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 tower moment. After tower after tower moment, this divine masculine is spiritually getting his ass whooped. They didn't, they didn't want to commit to their divine feminine. They went right over there to that karmic third party and try to put them in your spot. This is why the most high said, I think the fuck not. Child. They put a lot of work into this karmic connection. That's all they could think about. They worked hard to be in this karmic connection with this third party here. All the work that they gonna put into anything, whether it be job, a relationship, building a business, building their money up, as soon as they make the money, here come the devil snatching that shit. They can't keep no money. As fast as, they, as the money come in is as fast as it go out. They work for the fucking devil. Because they karmic debt is owed to the motherfucker. They owe the devil. They work for the fucking devil. And this is how come these tower moments, this cycle is not closed. It's not over. It's tower moment after tower moment after tower moment after tower moment. Because they tried to take what was yours and go take it over there to try to build with somebody else that ain't even a fucking divine feminine. I could see if it was another divine feminine, but they went to a karmic. And now they stuck with the motherfucker. Ain't that about a bitch? Now they over here look stuck. I can't make this up. They stuck. Hangman energy. They're stuck with that karmic. In that karmic cycle. With those tower moments after tower moments. 
because they left you out. They closed the cycle up with you and they went over there. They hightailed it. How does this karmic feel about the divine masculine? Holy Spirit, how does this how does this karmic feel about divine masculine? Yeah, I mean, it's like, for some of you guys, ooh, Ace of Cups in the reverse. They don't even love this motherfucker. Oh, I, okay, look, how many, how many, how many motherfuckers I'm going to say? Because it's like, you, you, dumbass, you had real love in your hand. And you close the cycle out with divine feminine to go over here to this karmic bullshit. This, this, let me tell you, with the Ace of Cups in the reverse, that for, and the devil out here with the Three of Swords, that further lets me know that this karmic, they, they finesse the fuck out of this divine masculine to the point where they left their divine feminine to come over there and start to build something with their raggedy ass. It was all a part of the devil's plan. They use this karmic as a pawn to break you two up. Because you know when the divine feminine and the divine masculine get together in holy matrimony and love, boo yeah. Worlds will be shaken. Hearts will be healed. They will, they will change the world. They can do it by themselves together. There was something great that you and your divine masculine had signed up for. This is a contract that turned karmic because why divine masculine wanted to go over there and fuck with a karmic fell from grace and this karmic don't even fucking like them. All they want is the motherfucking money that they make. This right here is a lot, a lot. This masculine is devastated. They're devastated because this person that they made a privileged lady don't give a fuck about them. And they closed it out with the one that do. So now they don't have you, Divine Feminine. They don't even have this old raggedy ass third party. And this all, look, they all uh, uh, defensive and shit. Yeah. They got their guards up because shit, they had to walk away. Eight of Cups. They holding him back. For some of you guys, this third party is defensive against your person and turned they back on Eight of Cups that ass. After they gave them all their money. Four of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles. So some of you guys, this Divine Masculine uh, gave up their draws and then got blocked and ghosted and left heartbroken by this third party. That they chose over you, Divine Feminine. Damn. Wow. They thought they had a good thing. They thought it was a good idea to go over there fucking with that one. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Damn. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Ace of Cups in the reverse. Look at this. Wait a minute. It was in the reverse. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, the lovers, and the motherfucking devil. With the three of swords. And this tower. That this cycle is not closed on. It's more to come. All because of you, Divine Feminine. How they treated you, how they ghosted you, how they closed this cycle out with you. And how they chose a karmic over the empress dumbass this is why the most i said i think the fuck not this divine mass man got replaced immediately <laughs> by an emperor who is worth it Wealthy man, unexpected income. This is your level up. 
this is how come you have another masculine in your energies. I mean, this right here is just, it's, 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 this is, this is, this is one for the books. This is one for the books. Okay. All right. So Holy Spirit, um, let's see, what is to come in? What is to come? What is to come for Divine Masculine? We have the star in reverse. No healing, no wish fulfillment. I picked the deck up upside down. No, I didn't. They were already upside down. But I'm going I'm to turn them in the upright. But yeah, go. Let's see. What is to come? What is coming in for Divine Masculine? What is coming in the near future? What energies are coming in the near future for Divine Masculine? We have Knight of Cups in the challenge position. So it's a challenge to go after love, to follow love, to be in love. It's almost a bitter energy. It's, it's a challenge to receive and give love here. What else is coming in? Thank you justice okay this is justice and we have the hermit energy so with justice coming in it's almost making me feel like this masculine is going to learn this lesson but it's after they lost divine feminine in this privileged lady they just going to have to start all over again in life this is what i'm getting but they're not going to go towards anybody when it comes to love romance commitment and relationship until they balance these scales and they make they bring justice to to this situation that they have caused they're going to have to go inside self to find self virgo energy and find the truth about self and it could be for a while because this hermit old as fuck It might take them a while to move forward and have a new beginning. Six of swords with the full energy. But ain't nothing moving forward until this happens. To result in this. What else is coming in for Divine Masculine? What else is coming in? What is the uh, future energies of Divine Masculine? That's a lot. We have the Queen of Pentacles here. Okay, so that's um, Earth Energy. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, but we have the Ten of Wands, burdens, uh, responsibilities, and we have the Knight of Wands because somebody is non committal. Somebody is here for huh, a good time, not a long time. This is what I'm getting, but the burdens and the and the heaviness is 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 here. But we do have the Queen of Pentacles, so it's it's a mothering energy. It's an earth mothering. Uh, uh, um, earthly mother mothering energy so um, some of them they probably um, could have the help of a mother figure um, I heard some of them have to move back home with their mother uh, that's what I'm getting for some of some of them because yeah they can't go towards love so look ten of swords in the reverse this is a lot because they were non-committal here Ten of Swords in the reverse is like the Nine of Swords in the upright to me. Still up in your head. Still up in their head about this painful ending, this betrayal, this backstabbing. This is this is a lot. What is the Ten of Swords in the reverse? They want to come out of this, but they can't move forward. Oh, that's way too many. No. What is, what is this Ten of Swords in the reverse? This is very, very painful for your person. It's a lot. But, you know, it's almost like when you, you they did this to themselves and they know it. Yeah, they got to have to have the strength and courage to move forward. OK, to be independent, to be on their own again. It's, it's going to it's going to come with challenges here. Yeah. The nine of wands, somebody giving up. They giving up the fight. Five of swords in the reverse. Nine of wands in the reverse. They want to be single and free. OK, they also too want to concentrate on their money, on their stability, their finances here. But it's gonna it's, it's a lot it's a lot to come out of this ten of swords energy what is this strength leo energy okay what is this strength the will of fortune things are moving forward okay so yeah it's going to take a lot for this masculine to move things forward in their life to come back into collaboration with somebody to work again to work with somebody again as well um, yeah, because they're going to be met with a lot of um, challenges and 
and obstacles and you know just conflict here about um getting money or getting a new job this is gonna like a new job yeah with the full energy and the ace of pentacles with the five of wands yeah with the king of pentacles this masculine here is really gonna have to work on stability and abundance here okay that's their energy but they do have the will of fortune in the upright so this masculine has learned some lessons about the decisions that they made because we have justice and the will of fortune in the upright which i like with the strength energy that's how come i said they're going to go through a lot before they could get through this okay yeah but they but they do have help they do have help yeah okay so what's coming in this is something is destined or this lesson was destined Woo, was coming in the fucking ace of cups in the reverse for this emperor because of all the burdens, ten of swords. They're going to have to move forward without love. This is almost making me feel like it's going to make your person bitter. The emperor looking dead at the ace of cups that's in the reverse. Okay? And they have to move forward without true love. And this is a heavy burden on this person that they have to carry. They looking dead at this love that's lost. That's that's you, Divine Feminine. Yeah. And now, see, conflict. It's conflict about getting another offer, making another offer, something of the sort. Something that is valuable. These are pinnacles. This masculine lost true love. And then they'll have to move forward without it. And it's going to be hard for this masculine to do that. But they still coming out as an emperor. But it's like the, the best they could do is a queen of pentacles. Because they lost their empress. Okay. All right. Holy Spirit. What's coming in for divine feminine? Let's see. Let's get another deck. Let's see what's coming in for divine feminine i picked up the deck we have the six of coins so something that's balanced and fair equal give and take here with temperance and the queen of swords yeah you're going to make the right decisions you're going to make the right decisions moving forward what's coming in for divine feminine holy spirit let's see thank you <laughs> we have the hierophant in the reverse okay We have the Hierophant in the reverse, and then we have the Six of Cups in the reverse. So somebody is not going back to the past. Somebody is not committing to somebody they have children with or this old soulmate. And that's justice in the upright. You, Divine Feminine, both of the Hermits, I mean, both of the Hierophants is reversed in your energy. Because something is just, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't here to stay. This is how come death is here. Um, you could be married twice or you could get married twice. Okay. But something is just non-traditional here. Um, with the Hierophant in the reverse it feel, and the justice in the upright, it kind of feels like, um, you know, you win some, you lose some with the four cups. This could have been the second time around with this masculine and it still didn't work. This is what I'm getting. Why is the hair fin in the reverse? Somebody is not committing to the past. Somebody is not going back to the past because something was non-traditional, non-committal. Yeah, why is the hair fin in the reverse? Uh, for some of you, Divine Feminine, you don't want to be married anymore. You've been married twice. That's enough. You're done. Okay. Somebody... Um, to not want any kids. This is why they're not getting married or they can't have kids or they don't want kids. This is why they're not getting married. We have the two of pentacles juggling energy and the seven of cups. So you're going to be juggling options and choices. This is why you're not moving forward or you're not communicating. It's starting to make me feel like collective was coming in for you, towards you. Is the one that you didn't want to commit to. 
this masculine here. They're still in your energy. Yeah, they still in your your they still pulling on that energy here. Trying to leave you confused about a choice that you have to make. Because you're not committing to them. You're you gate you're giving up on them. What can you tell me? What's coming in for divine feminine and this um new masculine, this wealthy man that holds a heart? What what's coming in for that? Thank you. The sun. Leo energy. This masculine could be a Leo. Happiness, joy, bliss. Truth and clarity. Victory. Six of wands. So it feels like what's coming in is that you're going to have this wealthy man that is going to make you so happy. But then you have this past person that closed the cycle out with you and tried to replace you with a third party karmic and the shit didn't work. Now they're trying to come back over here to you. Pulling on your, your, your energies and your heartstrings, trying to keep you confused about a choice that you made because you don't want to commit to them. What, what else can you tell me about this new masculine? I don't want to hear about the old one because the old one is done. What can you tell me about this new masculine? How does this new masculine feel about divine feminine? Let's go. How does this new masculine... I just seen the Ace of Wands, very passionate. Uh huh. How does this new masculine feel about? Thank you. Very protective. Seven of Wands, very defensive. Very protective. Ace of Coins. Brand new offers, brand new beginnings. This is this is a gift from the Most High with the Sun and the Ace of Coins. Oh yes. Oh yes. Happiness, joy, bliss. I heard you guys could build together. We have the five of swords. See, jealous. Jealous. This is how come this masculine is defending their star player. Their wish fulfillment. Okay, so this is going to be a clash of the, of the two emperors here. I pulled on this energy a couple of weeks ago, and here it go again. Yes, five of swords with the ace of coins. Let me tell you. This new masculine, cutthroat. Motherfucker, I wish you would. Look at it. Look, we will cut the shit out of you. This is my prize now. This is my ace of pentacles. This is my divine feminine. Shit. Look at this. Seven of wands. I heard this one ought to fight. Yeah, protecting their star player, their empress. Okay, Ace of Wands. Okay, very, very passionate. Have a lot of passion for you. Knight of Cups, very romantic towards you. Okay, a little obsessive with this devil energy. Okay, Knight of Cups and the devil energy. Yeah, somebody, it's almost like um, it could be a little overbearing. Um, but also, too, this could be just somebody who is in the energy of, uh, I'm going to do what I got to do to protect was mine to protect what I want, who I have. Yeah, six of swords. Moving on to calmer waters. Oh, they're very protective. How does this new masculine feel about the old masculine? What is going to happen with that if they, yeah, what's happening between the new masculine and the old masculine? We have the nine of coins and the four of cups. Okay, so, um, and what I'm getting here is that somebody, they just, they wish they didn't reject you. Look how he's looking up at that Ace of Cups. He wished, that old masculine wished they never rejected you because of this third party. And these cups are still in the upright, which further lets me know that this third party is still in this masculine's energies. But he's looking dead at the Ace of Cups. He ain't even paying this third party no attention. But they still there. Why? Because their cycle is not closed. Where you go? Their cycle between him and this third party is not closed. He have to close that cycle out. And it's not. Okay? So he's going to have to free himself. He's going to have to separate himself from even being with you, dreaming about you, thinking about you because he rejected you first. And now he feels rejected. And he's pissed. King of Swords in the reverse. Pissed. So you got two pissed off 
divine masculines here about your ass divine feminine because your new person ain't playing with your past person and your past person they be damned wow i heard to the death page of swords and the death energy with the five of wands huh <sighs> for some of you guys they're gonna fight to the very end world energy somebody's gonna come out a winner somebody's gonna come out a winner yep look the world and the fool look it this is a brand new journey in life a cycle has been wrapped up a lesson has been learned a new beginning is here because somebody lost out or whoever having this new beginning is because they they defeated they well shit of course i mean that's the winner takes all that's what i'm getting but yeah but with the world and the fool coming out side by side this is a hell of a um a life's journey somebody learned something valuable about their life or in this life this was yeah this is like a timeline exchange here yeah because something ended so something can begin what is the out let's see let's let's go on to get it let's go on to get it what is the outcome 11 11 on the clock what is the out excuse me what is the outcome holy spirit holy angels you're ready divine feminine everybody ready take action success somebody's taking action to have success with you divine feminine they ready holy spirit holy angels is is divine feminine's new divine masculine going to win this battle with the old divine masculine is the new ma masculine going to win the battle with the old masculine for divine feminine Okay, we'll take it, we we'll take it, we we'll take it. The way they popped out, I better take it. Okay, remain positive. You're ready. So this masculine is ready. They ready. They with it. We have no. We have choose a new direction. We have perfect timing. We have a year from now. Meditation brings answers. Communicate clearly. Opportunity. Bottom of the deck, we have remain positive. So it's making me feel like um, this divine masculine, um, there is no fight. I asked, well, is they going to win over your past person? No, because they're going to choose a new direction. The reason why I say they're going to choose a new direction because they're they're going to speak this clearly. They not they not fixing to do this, okay? They're not fixing to do this. I heard they don't have to because the opportunity will arise a year from now. Perfect timing. The opportunity will arise a year from now for you two to be together or for your masculine, this new masculine to uh, win over this past masculine. So it's making me feel as though collective, you're not really going to give this new masculine a chance to even fight for you because you still stuck in the energy of this false person not being your official person, AKA you still need to heal divine feminine so now is not the time with this no right here there ain't gonna be no competition because you won't even let them compete for you because you're not giving over or totally convinced that this person is actually the replacement of your past person this is why they say remain positive okay <clears throat> holy spirit is the old masculine going to win over divine feminine from the new masculine is the old masculine going to win over divine feminine from the new masculine we have wait don't stop ask help from others so this one need help 
not the right time. Okay, so they both look. This going down next year. Not the right time for abundance. They still need to improve their health. So it's almost making me feel like it's just going to, it's, it's something that's going to play out for the rest of the year. Um, because, you know, cycles is not wrapped, wrapped up. You're just now getting to know a person or meet a person. So now is not the time for that battle. But it's here. But I got to know and don't and wait and not the right time and choose a new direction, you know. So there is no battle here for you, Divine Feminine, because you still have to heal. You still have to get over the fact that this cycle is closed out with your old divine masculine so you can make room to in, to um, receive and invite in this new masculine that is here <coughs> full of wealth and love and, and want to want to start a new beginning with you. This is how come both of these hair fences in the reverse. You ain't committing to now one of these motherfuckers. <laughs> Okay, it's like the most high is like, no, no on the old and no on the new because you need to heal. Holy Spirit, holy angels, will divine masculine heal as soon as you let go? Let go of the hurt, the pain, the disappointment of being heartbroken. Let go of the hurt and pain and disappointment of being left behind and somebody chosen over you. We have look for a sign. There are helpful people around you. So what, what I get from this is um, th these are your angels and your ancestors that is helping you. Okay, trust them. You trust them. Okay, trust that they're helping you. Trust the process, helping you heal. Look for a sign. They're leaving signs all around you that they're here. They're here to help you heal. Okay, pay attention to the signs and you got to let go. You got to let go. And this is the reason why everything is on pause. Everything is on freeze, Divine Feminine. Because you still have to heal from the hurt and disappointment of what love has done. Okay, but as soon as you do that, Holy Spirit, um, will Divine Feminine go towards the new Divine Masculine after she let go of the old divine masculine and heal. Will you go to the new divine masculine? After you heal and let go of the old divine masculine. Yes. Yes, you will. So everything is on pause until you go through your healing process, baby. Yep. And it is a peaceful resolution here. Ask your angels. Didn't I say they there? That your ancestors, your angels, baby, they're going to help you heal through this process through this heartbreak here yes within the next few weeks okay so within the next few weeks you you know the the healing you'll start to notice how you're healing and moving forward and accepting what had happened between you and your old your your last divine masculine okay and this will happen for you if you believe ask your angels if you believe Baby, you got to have faith and belief that you do have heavenly help that is here to help you heal and move forward. Make the right decisions and choices and people, places, and things that is here for you, that the divine have laid out for you. And you are going to be able to heal and reconsider. Reconsider within the next few months. Romance. See, so within the next few months, you are going to reconsider somebody else that you want to be romantic with this new one and that right there is letting me know that you are on your healing journey the healing process i'm glad you're taking your time and you're not rushing in the most high is not even going to let you rush into another connection because i mean come on we're not doing this again <laughs> okay but yeah so for some of you guys you could meet this new masculine Within the next few weeks, perfect timing. Okay? You could meet them in the next few weeks. For some of you guys. And that's going to help you choose a new direction. Because you guys going to... Y'all communication is going to be mwah, crystal clear. And it's almost like, you know, you could tell this new masculine that 
you're not ready to start a new relationship to start on a new you know connection because you're still healing and this masculine is going to understand this masculine not going nowhere so over the course of the year or over the course of the rest of this year y'all going to build that relationship build that trust build that rapport with each other because y'all communication is crystal clear you understand him he understand you and then you're gonna you're gonna be able to go into another direction romantically um this could happen within the next few months so you can meet your new divine masculine within the next few weeks um you could start to heal your heart and change your your direction of love or your heart space into the direction of the new masculine within the next few months and when in a year from now y'all could be together as a, a um official solid couple okay so um yes collective this is what i have for you and divine masculine i know it has been a lot to uncover unfold but i mean you know when you're dealing with a liar and a false person that's not official this is the type of shit you get <laughs> okay but we're here we, we see now that you just need time to heal um your ex divine masculine i don't even know if they even divine anymore i'm just gonna call them masculine because when you fuck around and and you fall from grace because you want to uh um embark on a, a a karmic cycle with somebody outside of your divine feminine especially if you left your divine feminine to go over here with this karmic and fuck around and put this karmic in the place of your divine feminine you fell from grace you're a karmic this is the reason why you're in a karmic cycle you lost your divinity he could get it back we do have justice in the will of fortune out here so the universe is working with this one he fell from grace so this divine masculine did turn karmic they do the work they do the healing they do the apologizing they do the course correcting of their intentions their actions and their decisions they can raise up to a divine energy a divine being again okay it can happen it just depends on where your head and heart is at when it comes to love all right okay this is what i have for you if any of these messages resonated please drop a comment down below and i'll see you in the next video okay till then take care bye